Oh, hi there. Didn't even see you. I don't know if you're counting, but I did over a thousand. Welcome back to the Wild Dog. Project 365, episode 34. Obviously, found ourselves in a garage today, doing what we should do in a garage. Lifting weights, filled. The garage is filled with what it should be filled with. Weights, no need for cars. We can run and bike everywhere. Uh, anyway, getting on to the point. What you'll notice today, um, when we're doing pull-ups, unfortunately we didn't have uh, our overhead pull-up rack today, but we may do, because I said fitness is everywhere. You're gonna notice that we're kind of more in a, 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 a adducted, a horizontally adducted position when we get up and we're doing pull-ups on a stationary object. And what that does when we release, we get a lot of eccentric loading in these anterior structures and sometimes we get a little barking from, uh, from the pectoralis major here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a little smash and stretch, that pectoralis major, work it out, test like, like everything else, test, retest, okay? And we're gonna smash and stretch, retest overhead, increase range of motion here in this pectoralis major region for increased overhead, overhead function. Here's how we do it. Get on over here. We got ourselves the rogue beater bar. Is that right, beater bar? Beater bar, barker bar, something like that, right? Either way. We're gonna get underneath here. We're gonna slap the tissue. Here's a little quick anatomy lesson. For the better part of everything, the pectoralis major adducts the arm, horizontally adducts the arm, and internally rotates the arm, okay? Less anatomy lesson over, a kinesiology lesson, I guess, right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna slap the tissue by kinda like placing it into a little bit of an adducted, medially rotated position. Now, we're gonna wind up that tissue we're gonna wind up that tissue with the gnarling on, the, board, uh, on the, the bar itself. And now what we could do is raise that arm into abduction, horizontal abduction and external rotation. Go ahead, re-slack it, and now re-gnarl it, abduct, horizontally abduct, and externally rotate that arm, bring that palm upwards, okay? One more time, slack the tissue. Externally rotate arm. Now, from right there, we just got done smashing. Here's what we're gonna do. We're now gonna add the stretch, pectoral stretch. Obviously, I would do both sides, just doing this for time. Come up over here, we're gonna do a corner stretch. And the way that we do that is we find ourselves a corner, obviously. We're gonna do three positions in this pectoralis stretch, okay? We're gonna do when our shoulders are at 90 degrees. We're gonna do when our shoulders are at 45 degrees above 90 degrees. And we're gonna do when our shoulders are 45 degrees below 90 degrees. And the way that this works is just like this. We'll, we'll just show this one. We start out at 90 degrees. We bring our feet about three feet away from the corner and we allow our body to fall forward. We're not letting our rib cage fall upwards, we're just letting the body fall forwards. Once we find that barrier of resistance, take a deep breath in, take a deep breath out, allow everything to relax. And you'll see that the body naturally falls to the next barrier of resistance. We can go ahead and repeat that, deep breath in, deep breath out. And the body will find this next barrier of resistance. Each time spend about eight to 10 seconds down into that stretch. We're gonna repeat that same thing two to three times at 90 degrees, above 90, 45 degrees above 90 degrees, and 45 degrees below 90 degrees. And that's your corner wall stretch. So we got our smash and stretch for pectoralis major. Until next time, we're optimizing function to optimize performance.